clean, safe water. It's something that most of us take for granted. In the United States, annual deaths from cholera totaled 25,000 in 1900. By 1960, this figure had fallen to fewer than 20. This incredible reduction came from water purification through chlorine. Today, over 90% of all European drinking water is clean and safe thanks to chlorine, the only disinfectant that will keep water safe all the way to the tap. It also controls taste and odour. At the 2002 World Summit on Sustainable Development, the global community committed to half by 2015 the proportion of people without access to safe and healthy drinking water. We are not there yet, but making progress thanks to chlorine. But it's not just water. More than 90% of all medicines rely on chlorine. Chlorine chemistry is used during the synthesis process of medicine manufacture and also provides the airtight sterile packaging in which the majority of pills or medicines are supplied. And without chlorinated solvents, we would also be without antibiotics, asthma and cholesterol treatments. Hypo, or as most of us know it, bleach, helps to keep our hospitals clean, hygienic and germ-free. PVC provides a safe and sterile material for use in the production of blood and intravenous bags. It is also used for the tubing in kidney dialysis apparatus. But chlorine also helps us to avoid the need for medical help. When it comes to safety, chlorine chemistry is critical. PVC equipment is used in aircraft evacuation slides, life jackets and life rafts. Taking things even further, chlorine chemistry is also found outside the Earth's atmosphere. Spacewalking astronauts are protected from extreme conditions by spacesuits made with materials developed from chlorine chemistry. So, Chlorine chemistry has come a long way from that defining scientific discovery by Carl Wilhelm Schiele in Sweden in 1774. Life-changing, life-saving, with the ability to capture the power of the sun, chlorine has become the ultimate element of surprise. Staying healthy, it's a chlorine thing.